Welcome back folks once again. Thank you for joining me. Today we are going to do something different in the shop. Uh, we are going to attempt a blacksmithing forge station which is going to consist of the things you will see down here. And basically what we are going to do, there's been there's plenty of videos of this already online. I'm just going to recreate what I've already saw. Scene, excuse me. So what we're gonna do first thing here is, is we got two inch steel pipe and I got three pieces here that are threaded up on each side uh, along with a T. So we're just gonna piece it together by hand for now. So we're going to put that for the air intake to be shorter. Okay, so that's the general idea of what we have here. Uh, I have a brake hub that we're going to mount on top of that. And that's going to be our, our coal pit, our forging station here. And then we're going to go with a hair dryer. We're going to rig it up to where it's going to give us an air intake through here. And we're going to give us constant airflow through the top. So when we're heating metal, we got good airflow. And then also, I have just a basic charcoal grate that we're going to cut up into a square, square size piece that's going to be big enough to cover that hole so we don't lose any good cold uh, chunks down to the end of the pipe. And the cap is just going to serve it's basically a drain plug. We can loosen that up when we need to empty the ash pit, the ash pan is what that's going to serve as. So that's the basic idea of what we have. Uh, first thing we need to do is get this flange to be properly mounted to there so we can start screwing the pipe in. And we're going to have to do a little bit of drilling and get some bolts in there to fasten that flange securely and then we'll be ready to go from there. Okay folks, so now we're at the drill press and all we did was simply mount the two inch flange with an anchor bolt. Uh, there was already a ready made hole in the brake hub so we just put a, a bolt through there so this thing is mounted secure and we're simply just gonna get, I guess we'll probably be good with two more or maybe we'll just go ahead and do all four of them. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Let's see if we can get some holes drilled. complete that'll do it so now we got the holes drilled we can get our bolts mounted on there so that way the, f the flange is going to be really secure when we get our pipe in there so we can take it out to the shop now and we can start getting the pipe together all right so we got our holes drill pressed we're back at the bench and we're going to go ahead and get the remainder of the bolts in there to secure this flange and while we're doing that I guess I'll give you a little bit of the rundown of you might be thinking to yourself, hey Chris, why the hell are you building a blacksmithing forge? It's supposed to be a cooking show. What's up with that? <laughs> well, you know, as of anything I do, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and just uh, learning new things and just recently came across uh, blacksmithing and forging and saw some cool cooking irons being made. Uh, you know, just basic campfire utensils, fire pokers, uh, all that types of nature. 
So that caught my attention to be able to maybe make my own cooking irons or, you know, a, an actual, uh, what they would call a cowboy pit, which uh, has uh, like a rotisserie, uh, rotisserie at the top and various swing arms to, be, to allow you to uh, be able to hold pots and pans over your fire pit. So basically that's what this idea is, if I can get a, a working forge. Uh, I can start maybe my own little small projects. Alright folks, so we got our two inch flange mounted to the brake drum. Uh, everything's tightened down and fastened really well, so that's the, what we have. Pretty simple, so all we're going to do now is go ahead and mount the pipe onto that. And I already got the three pieces on, so I can simply just put it in there. so it's secure okay so that is going to complete our frame let me get that in the view for you so that's going to complete the base frame of our forge like I said it's going to be our coal pit here and we're going to have our air intake valve which is just going to be a hair dryer we're going to get forced air through this pipe I'm going to have forced air coming up through and that's what's going to heat our coal Okay, and then like I said, this is basically going to be an ash pan. So that's what we have now. So the next thing we need to do is get a mount or a base set up for that. And what I'm going to do for that is probably have the bottom of a 17 inch square charcoal grill. And I'll probably be able to cut it out so this pipe will just be able to go right up through there and have uh, the brake drum setting inside of the pit or the charcoal grill excuse me so in other words we're going to have an extended forge for coal storage or extra coal capacity if that makes sense so your fire is going to be here in the center and the the extra space of the charcoal pit is going to allow you to be able to have more charcoal ready to go to be scooped on to your forced air pile okay so with that said the next step is we're going to get the base ready and so we'll do that right now Okay, so before we get to building the base, uh, I forgot to mention that we're going to take this old piece of charcoal grate here and cut it up in a small enough square section that's going to cover that hole. So that's basically just going to be uh, a coal catcher. It's, just, it's not going to allow our coal honks to fall through the pipe. So that's all we're going to do is snip up a piece of this uh, just to fit down in this cavity right here. Alright folks, so I got my grate mounted in a vise here. And I've already cut the cross sections here, the bigger cross pieces of metal with the Sawzall. And all I need to do now is take a pair of snips in here. Snip away at the bars here. Alright, last one. There we go. And that's what we have. It's a piece of grate that's going to cover our hole and be our charcoal stop. Okay, so here's my forge stand. And I've got my grate piece that was cut. And as you can see, that thing fits in there perfect. So, okay, so now we got a grate. Now we're ready for the base. Okay, so now we're ready to mount the forge tray, or the coal tray, excuse me, uh, to the brake hub here. And basically all I'm going to do, this is the lid of a charcoal grill. And basically what I'm going to do is just try to tin snip uh, the opening for the, in, I'm sorry, for the relief, for the air relief valve for the grill. I'm just going to open that hole up that they gave me enough to where... Uh, my two inch flange piece will sit down in there comfortably. Basically that's going to be the end result. Okay, so I got the center hole cut out of that air vent for the top of the grill lid. And that thing worked out perfect. As far as the flange will sit right down in there. 
All right, as you see, the flange comes through perfectly, and it'll give me just the perfect amount of space to be able to get my pipe through there comfortably, and that's gonna be our forging tray. So we're ready to mount it now, pretty much. All right, folks, so we've got the coal tray put on, and for the base, what we've done is just take an old piece, uh, excuse me, we took an old piece of antenna, triangle antenna, and set the pipe down in there with the tray sitting on top. And as you can see, I got the hair dryer for my air intake valve. Okay, so that's pretty much the idea of what we're doing here. And now the only thing we need to do is fire this baby up. So let's get to it. All right, so we're ready to start this forge up. All I'm gonna do for now is just ball a piece of paper up. And then I'm gonna start with some wood first to establish some fire. And I get some wood coals. And then we'll start adding the black coal in after that. Okay, now we got it cranked up. See how well this coal takes off. So now I don't know if it's, the camera's picking it up, but we got good black smoke coming off of there. So I guess that means our coal is starting to take pretty well. We're gonna give that a few more minutes and hopefully we'll get a good coal bed down in there. But for right now, we're only about three or four minutes in and it's going good. Alright, so we've been burning the coal for about 15-20 minutes, and as you can see, it's getting white hot in there. So we're going to go ahead and set a file in there for a test piece, and we're going to make sure that that thing gets white hot enough to where we can forge. So we'll bury it in there, and we'll see what happens. Okay folks, so we've been heating up this file for about 3 or 4 minutes tops. See what we got. Bam, as you can see, that sucker is nice red hot. Actually, you can't see it because I don't have it on camera, but that thing is white hot. We can pound on that, forge it, manipulate it to whatever we want to. That could be a knife blade, a fire striker, whatever we want it to be. So, that was the whole purpose of this thing. We got a working forge and we're ready to pound metal. Bam!